Oh man, but but I prefer like a, a match between M and and Joe. I know what I'm getting out of that. Mm -hmm. I know it's not. Oh, there's gonna be pistols blazing. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know, crews gonna. I, I prefer that rather than you know this other shit that we got with the the drill movement. Right. Where it just it just sounds like like cries of war and everybody's living out the record. Mm. You know what I mean? Like what, what? How do you feel about, you know, being from Long Beach, like people banging on records? I mean, it's the culture. It's the it's you know. If you live a certain lifestyle, that's what you gonna project on the mic. That's how you gonna create your art. It's gonna right. be based on your lifestyle. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I want to say on um, free Casanova. Yeah, no doubt. But but you see the game that's being played now. Yeah, I see it. They're looking it. for any type of association. Yeah. You throw up a you throw up your hood yeah. in a video mm -hmm. and you just happen to be around somebody who put in some work and they find out. Mm -hmm. They they rallying and yeah. they grabbing everybody up. That's what they doing. I mean, and, and, and we making ourselves easy targets. You know what I'm saying? We gotta move smarter now. Right. You gotta understand where it's at and be like, okay, you know, crime has always and I ain't saying nobody's committing crimes. I'm just saying crime, the crime element, the hood, the streets, things that go on has always evolved with time. Right. You know what I'm saying? And br and got smarter. Right. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is, for the young guys, I get tired of looking at young dudes on the video and saying to myself, I hope he lives. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I get tired of looking at videos of young dudes and, be, the same way. and be like, damn, I hope nobody don't kill this young dude. You know what I mean? because that's what's going on. And then when I look at the older guys who can't, they're not giving out the jewelry they should be. Mm. You know what I'm saying? To the, to the, to the kids, like, we need, to, we need to figure out how we could stop that. But we, me and you both know, that's almost like a runaway train. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you gonna stop somebody? Because again, we get back run to this, deep. this marketing. <laughs> the marketing of it, is right it's the it's hype crazy yeah yeah i know some rappers who really you know what i'm saying wasn't really affiliated and active like that mm -hmm. but they used it as marketing right because somebody said if you just come out as yourself without a gang movement behind you you ain't gonna move you're not gonna move no records so now they gotta use that element to sell records but also that element creates other energies right. there's people from your hood that's like that's not you right. and when we see you we gonna let you know that's, no, not, that's you. not you you know what i'm saying and then there's people around the world that want to test you now because of the energy you giving off right. so it's really tough man you know um everybody just wants to be successful and these motherfucking labels they don't care they're gonna let you go ahead and act a fucking fool out there because like we just talked about when somebody pop you more record sales mm. they don't care Figure it out. Wake up. Yeah. Wake up. Wake up, man. We we need to we need to stop all that, man. You part you in the game, but yeah. you you're not moving the pieces. You being moved, man. Wake up. Wake up. So, all right. Being from Long Beach, how do how do you feel about seeing Bloods and Crips all over the United States now? I saw it early. You know what I'm saying I moved out of the city. My mom wanted to go back to Oklahoma where she from, you know what I'm saying? She moved to Cali to get a record deal. She got a record deal, some shit happened. She met my father in Long Beach. He was a Navy, he was stationed in the Navy in Long Beach. Right. She had me. <clears throat> we stayed in Cali for a while, you know, doing our thing in the city, all that type of shit. And then one summer, she just decided she wanted to go back to home, go back to um Oklahoma. So we went back. And I, and I watched the development of gangbanging in Oklahoma. I watched it. You know, I was like, okay, a dude moved in from, from L.A. A dude moved into town from L.A. A dude moved in from Compton. They started two separate hoods. There was already a hood there, you know what I'm saying, that was, was moving around, but there wasn't really Crips or Bloods. Right. And then the Cripping and blood took place, and it started to blossom. And I just watched it all develop from, from one person to 100 motherfuckers claiming and repping you know what i'm right. saying and i was like damn this shit is crazy because it was a culture shock when i first came out here because wasn't really nobody right tripping i could come outside 
You know what I mean? Up, yeah. Everything cool. Nigga, ride my bike with a Dodger hat on to the back, blue. Right. Ain't nobody <laughs> finna say shit. shit you know right, what right, right. You but good. Now this, it's this like, vacation time right Yeah, here. now it's starting to develop into something different. And then I moved um, to Vegas because my mom was moving around. Every time my older brother got into some shit or I got into some shit, my mom would try to run from it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So we moved to Vegas. Niggas was banging Crips and Bloods. I'm looking at it. I'm like, man, this shit is everywhere. everywhere. You know? So it's like. Did you respect wow. it? Well, I had some cousins who were claiming a gang set out of South Central who never been to South, South Central, Central at the time. Right. They was putting in work and getting shot. My cousin got shot seven times for that hood. So my my perspective changed because it was like, okay, well, damn, you know what I'm saying? Whether, you, it, is, you, whether you, it is or not. You taking bullets and giving them for this shit. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. And, you know, I took my cousin. My cousin came out to out here and shit, and we went over there to the hood that he was representing and all that shit, and they, you know, they accepted him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They accepted him. But um, for me, for me, dog, being on the outside because, you know, my older brother, my older cousins, they all Crips. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, they like, yo, tossing me a blue rag when I was eight years old. You know what I'm saying? Nine, ten. You right. feel me? But um, I ain't really walked that type of path, really. I just, I just really grew up in it. Right. I know it. I know the ins and outs, the of, outs it. of it. You know what I'm saying? what you... Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I... I just chose to, I was like, dog, I, it's got to be something else. You know what I mean? Right. And then it was like, I'm not making no money like that either. So, so does it confuse you when you see people choose it that wasn't in it? Yeah. I always get confused. I've always I've always been confused by the people who gain success and then become a gang member or be, start hanging out with gangs. And you know what I'm saying? Right. After they just went, you know triple platinum. platinum you know what i'm saying yeah, and then all they got sudden, a big record deal with a million dollar advance and all of a sudden they hanging out and in compton with some real niggas right. that was will, will swallow your ass up <laughs> right. you know what i'm saying right. but you doing it for the trend of it you know what i'm saying i yeah. always thought that was really crazy man but um you know but i but it, it's worked mm -hmm. for some people it's very it's, it's work man and you know what we never talk about the guys who are out there trying to stop you know the gang intervention guys who 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 did twenty. You know right. we don't we don't really talk about you know the Crips and Bloods that's that's fifty five years old right now. Did they time? Did put got their stripes? You know what I'm saying? But now they showing up at high schools like yo, this ain't it. Right. You know what I'm saying find a different way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I think we need to start putting them type of dudes on a platform. platform. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's the energy we need. Right. I don't want my son. I don't want my son to be fearing for his life over some shit that was started a long time ago, and the shit ain't even exactly what it was. Was yeah. You know what I'm saying? When it was started, you know right. what I mean? It's transformed right. to some different things, and you know, it's just like, yo, let's start hearing from. Like I got a, I got a, I got a, a homie from the city of Long Beach. His name is Blue. Blue would be perfect to sit down here and talk to you and tell you about why the kids need to stop. You know what I'm saying? And right. why they need to figure out, you know, how to financially educate themselves and, you know, go get a family and shit like that. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. But we don't put those types of people on platforms enough. You know what I'm saying? We got to start putting them on platforms. Same goes so, so, for everybody. Yeah. So here's my question. Do you reform kids out of gangs or do you reform the gang? Hey, man. I mean, how? Because what if it was, though, I'm, I'm Crip, so I know I could get a job at this law firm because mm. there's other Crips up there that's right, like, right, right, right. yo, you know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Throwing it up like, yeah. yo, yo, you dead? Okay, yeah, nigga, yeah. you hired. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. What if we could do that? I think it could be done. I think it can be done. They smarter than people think, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. intelligence is, is is way up. They they feel like a lot of people in the, in the world paint these gang members, and I could speak on this because I was raised by gang members. Right. You know what I'm saying? My whole life. 
You know what I'm saying? So um, a lot of them are super smart. They could be a CEO at a company, any company. You know what I'm saying? And the world paints them as dumb killers. Are oh, you killing over this, killing over that? Right. It's way deeper than that. But they'll make John Gotti look like look like he the was man, a mastermind. The mastermind, yeah. Right. You feel me? So, you know, we, we got to just figure out how we need to get on code because I'm really loving the fact that we got, you know, the internet and the social media is kind of bringing some of these guys out to the forefront, the guys with the right message. Right. We need to let those with the right message speak. Give them some motherfucking time on camera and on the mic and, you know what I'm saying? Like, Well, well you kind of part of that. Well, like, I mean. What, what's the, this next project that you putting out? Yeah. What's the message? Cause you don't walk through this whole shit. Right, right. You seen enough to you seen Death Row, Tupac, Snoop, uh, Shady, uh, uh, Dr. Dre's era. Everything that was going on to now. Right. To now, it still be around. Like this, this gotta be like a two percent. Mm. You know what I mean? Of people that that was able to come through all these eras and they still here and they still got something to say. Right. People still want to hear it. People still waiting. That's a super blessing. Right. That's a blessing, dog, because, you know, it's been 20 plus. You know what I'm saying? Right. I've been in the game 20 plus. And uh, this album is definitely going to be my journey. People going, the ups, the downs, the good, the bad, the ugly. You know what I'm saying? You're going to laugh with me. You're going to smile with me. You're going to hurt with me. Right. You know what I'm saying? throughout this process of listening to this to this album because you're right it's been a long journey and it's that time and i wasn't even gonna make an album like that but my little brother demetrius was like yo it's time for you to do this tell your story you know what i'm saying and i'm like yeah because to me it's just i'm living it so it ain't really it ain't that big to me right. you know what i'm saying but to people on the outside it's like dog do you know what the fuck you did or do, do you know what you survived well, do you know what you've been through right. you know what i'm saying and it's like you know now how many niggas you stopped from getting a deal you know how I many niggas <laughs> you motherfuckers <laughs> pumped the brakes on they deal <laughs> crazy so you know i mean so yeah it's going it's going i'm gonna tell the story man you know being a young kid being able to walk into the session and and see Tupac you know what I mean? At a kid, at a young kid, it'd be like, damn, that's Tupac right there, you know, and just sit down and watch Pac write and do his thing, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, being able to see Snoop, being able to go up to, you know, Dre, being able to survive the craziness of Death Row Records, man, at a time where I've, I, it def, a lot of people don't know this. Death Row was more lit on some street shit. It was more lit when I was on Death Row than it was in any era. because yeah, there was a lot of shit going on. It was a lot of shit yeah. going on. And when Suge got out of jail, it was a lot of people trying to stop him from ever being what he was yeah. in the past. A you lot know, of shootings, big mogul. Yeah, a lot, a lot of shootings. Of a lot of killings, kidnapping. Yeah. Bro, man, we lost so many people over there, man. And when I was over there, dog, the body count was crazy. You know what I'm saying? And 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 it was just it was it was very, very dangerous. I mean, the feds rushed the building, man. They took everything out of that motherfucker. They, they rushed all of the houses. I saw footage of motherfuckers coming down from helicopters. Yeah, dog. With the straight leg, like, <laughs> like yo, to a record label? To a record label, man. This is wild. It was lit. So my whole thing is, you know, that's something that, you know, I think that's the, that's the reason why. My homies in Long Beach respect me because they like, yo, nigga, you went over there by yourself and you you made it out. You know what I'm saying? And no matter what happened, you know, you made it out. And, uh, you know, I, I appreciate that respect that they show me for that. But, right. you know, there's other things, though. You know, just does, life. Does, does that life. make you, you seem, you, I mean, you came up with some, some of the most prevalent big homies. Yeah. Yeah. You the big homie now. And then it's like I just said about Russ. It's like you got to really you got to really recognize that. You know what I'm saying? You got to recognize that because I don't feel like it. I don't feel old and right. you know what I'm saying? I I I feel like yo shit, it's, I'm still the same person. Yeah. But you got to realize that when you get to a certain age and you got a certain amount of wisdom that came from certain experiences, you need to give that wisdom to the next. 
so they can, you know, have some shortcuts in life and don't have to go through everything that you went through. You know what I'm saying? So I'm making a, I'm being intentional about that now. I'm making a point to be like, yo, calling younger artists or younger homies that's just in the streets and be like, yo, let's go get lunch and just talk to them. You know what I'm saying? Because that'll go a long way, man. It's, it's, nobody was talking to us sometimes, you know. <laughs> Shit. Right. Even was out there wilding. <laughs> was like, wilding. You know what I mean? So, so is that what the Circle of Bosses is about? Circle of Bosses, man. Yeah, dog. It's like like-minded individuals that just want to see each other win. There's no there's no one leader. You know what I'm saying? There's, we all bosses. We sit at the table. We got that mindset. We established this in 2004. We just was a click. We decided to create a click. Mm-hmm. Of like-minded individuals that want to see each other win, and you know we from all walks of life. It's Crips in there, it's Bloods in there, it's lawyers in there, it's people who own car dealerships in there, it's mm-hmm. rappers in there, it's producers in there, and we just all want click. How do you get in? And um, you know what? That's to on 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 that side. I guess you, we just gotta really fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, if right. we really, for two or three of us, really just fuck with you, and that's what you want, you know, it's like, all right, cool. Come on, rock out. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, um, I decided to bring it forth into the rap world because I kept it behind, but I decided to bring it into the rap world. Like, yo, this is our clique. You know what I'm saying? Let's represent what we represent. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, so it was cool. Um, and it's it's been it's been dope, man, to, to see the growth of some certain people. You know, I got homies that... Real estate moguls, you know what I'm saying? Like straight COB tat, everybody got the tat on the hand, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And real estate mogul, you know, buying property and beachfront property, houses, restaurants, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it, it, you it, seen it, them come from. See them come from, you know, the bottom. So right. it's like, yo, it's a beautiful thing, man, you know what I mean? To be one of the founders and be like, yo, look what look what we did, though. We And we still got homies we trying to bring up. Right. You know what I'm saying? We still we still got work to do, but we're going to do it because we love each other and that's what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? 